Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. I don't know, we might not. It's good that, though, this, this is a good thing that we're not cutting into existing fields. There's a little tiny bit down there. Uh, because we need a, a bit of a boundary, because if we don't have enough boundary, then the worker is not going to do this job properly. He's, he's going to go past the bit that we've ploughed and carry right on, and I don't want him to do that. So I'll go out this side. And start working up here. He'll very quickly come into... There we go, there's the new edge. So we're going to do once more right round the field. And I think that will be enough then for the hired help not to jump over the ploughed line. Maybe we've got to do four times. I don't want him going over the cloud line. Up there. And you know what I think we need? We, we, we kind of need to do that just to show that we're doing some work. And we can carry right on again. There we go. So a few bits right next to that tree as well. And then we're coming up into the third time around the field. And so we'll be able to have the hired help working away in the field here without any trouble. At least that's what I'm hoping. And then while the hired help is doing this, we can be cutting down trees. But before we have the hired help doing too much, getting too carried away and spending our money, we are going to want to just take care of getting that stump grinder. The stump grinder is going to be the important bit. And also, we're going to want to sell some produce, aren't we, in order to get the other little bit of money. Right, you know what? We don't actually need to worry about this up here at all. Uh, this doesn't make any difference at all because it's not actually field. There is a bit of field down here that I want to plow. I will bring this one down here like this. There. There is the little bit of field that I want to plow down here just to mark the edge of where we're going to work up to. And I'm actually going to make sure that I've got this done properly just here. So the hired help in this game doesn't like, uh, like, well, it's, it's not that it doesn't like the um, non-reversible plow, but it won't work a field like you would normally if you had a non-reversible plow. If, you did, if you've got in real life a non-reversible plow, you would actually be... Uh, work down one side of the field and then back up the other side of the field or you do it in sections so you don't have too many um, ridges and furrows by the time you've finished and obviously the game won't do it like that the hired help just does up one row and down the next row so we do have bits missing now that's fine that's, that's not a problem it's just that it doesn't look quite right when you're doing it but in real life if you were doing this uh, with a field this small you would plow up one side of the field then lift out and go to the other or the other option is you plow up across the field and then you lift out and then you drive back to the other side of the field again and then you do the same you repeat it like that so it's it's one or the other normally um i mean sometimes you even do it in combinations but um yeah that's, that's pretty much how you would do it lifting out your plow and driving to the other end of the field so that you don't have too many ridges and furrows left and you have a nice neat field by the time you finish which means that when you come to do your harvest or anything like that you're not bouncing and rattling and knocking your teeth out because you can't sort of sit still in your seat uh, which would otherwise be a bit of an issue for you wouldn't it now then if i have a look on here there's the outside edge, and you can see where we're plowing in the grass. We're actually getting a second line of fertilizer coming in, which is really good. We'll be able to make good use of that, which means that we won't need to actually fertilize this field up here, which will make life a little bit easier. So then if we go here to the needs plowing bit, we will start up here on this side. And this will give us an indication of whether or not the hired help is going to behave itself. For the rest of the field so we're just going to set that one going there he's just come out a little bit too far on that bit which means he may straddle that i might have to do another pass just around here right, but he came out of the ground there all right hmm. i'm a 
little bit concerned that we may not have quite a wide enough gap for this to work properly. So he'll turn around now and he should line everything up all right without any trouble. I mean that plough, to be honest, is fairly centred. It's such a small plough that it is fairly centred. He's going to be leaving a little strip apparently. So we're going to we're going to have bits that we're going to need to go and tidy up afterwards. And uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I don't like that. Is he going to do that on every? This is really not good. And now it's raining. Am I going to have to go and get the reversible plow in order to be able, in order to make this work? Am I have to drive all the way back down and get a reversible plow and do it like that instead? I got a feeling that I might, because oh, the AI. I've now got an extra bit with the AI. Uh, they now will turn their lights on during the day when it's raining, things like that, uh, which I think is actually quite good because it does allow you to see things a little bit better. He's doing his turning all right, but I got a horrible feeling that we're going to be left with lines like that in the field with it not lining up quite right. Which means that we might actually have to go and buy that other plow if I want the hired help to be able to do this. And I do like the hired help to be able to do the jobs rather than me. It just seems to fit better. Yeah, look, he's, he's leaving. I can see him leaving a line there right now can see him doing that. So this is not working very well. I mean, need that one. I mean, this one would be better. It's 160 horsepower to pull it, and our tractor is more than that. What is our tractor? Medium tractor is 190. Our tractor should be able to pull that one. This, this is a complete and utter mess. We, we, can't, we can't do this. Right, okay, hired help, you have failed us right there. Unfortunately, we cannot have that going on, which means that I need to get back down to the shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see if the hired help is able to get back down to the shop. We, we, we That plow is no good. Unfortunately, that's down to the hired help rather than us. Um, I don't want to sit there and manually plow up the entire field. So I am, I'm going to send it back. I might add, a, well, I suppose... No, all right, let's just create job. Um, no, don't create job. Set destination. There, right. Target is unreachable. How is the target unreachable? It's not unreachable. Have a little faith in yourself. I wonder if it's because of, I don't imagine it's because of the roundabouts. I imagine it's more because of where he's starting. Oh no, he just doesn't want to get to there. He, he can do it from here. Right, we'll hope that he can make it and we're going to get the Mahindra now and we're going to go and look for some stuff while that one is traveling down the mountain. And... Yeah, I was thinking that maybe I should add the money back in because that's down to the hired help. That's down. That's a game fault rather than an us fault. So you know we should be all right for not having to worry about that money. You know, we'll lose a little bit of money on that plow. But I mean, we are adding in a load of money by going and getting these rare truffles. So I feel that with okay, I think you just met uh, another vehicle or something. Uh, with what the way that we're doing it and going and getting these rare truffles I don't need to add in the extra it just means that we're going to have to work a little bit harder to be able to get the uh, stump grinder but what we can do we don't have to get that stump grinder straight away do we what we can do is we can get the log carrier and we can bring that one up and because we've got the small tractor that we can use ooh We'll we'll just have to take a break from doing the ploughing. What is the horsepower of our small tractor? That one is 100 horsepower. So if we buy that big plough, he's not going to be able to pull it. But I think that big plough might be the one to go for. I think that might be the bad boy that we want. Now, 
I'm going to hair off down this mountain. I have no idea where we need to be going next. But I do know that we want to keep checking property and swings. That's what we're looking for. Anything that has got a swing. Anything that looks like a child's play park. Anything like that. We need to be investigating it. We need to find swings. AI worker G is blocked by an object. Now, is he actually blocked by... There's a swing set down there. Down that hill. Is he actually blocked by an object? No, he's moving again. He's on 23, 24k. 20k. Slowing down on a hill. But he is moving. So as long as he's still moving, that's fine. I can see it in the top left-hand corner of my screen. It's the... And he's blocked again. Right now he's saying zero. That swing set there doesn't have anything. But he's moving again. He is moving again. This is good. Where is he? Let's have a look. Right, he's made it onto this road here. So he's, he's heading off through town. We'll, we'll be back to um, base in no time at all. Back to base, back to the dealership in no time at all. Now, where else are we going to find swing sets? We need to find more swing sets. This is the problem, is that those swing sets, I thought that maybe there wouldn't be very many, but apparently there are loads of them. We've found one rare truffle sitting on a swing. So we've got one so far, but there could be loads and loads of them. I'm thinking that we will... Right, there's... I know that there's some there. I think that we should check these houses here, like going up this side. So there's no houses there, because that's the, the farm. And then we've got these up here. I don't think there's houses over that side. So I think we can leave that. I'm down here. So if I was to go straight up this way, ignore those for a minute, and we'll head down the road here, and we'll check out any swing sets along the side of the river here. Up to that junction there. And then we can turn around at the junction, and we can go back, and we can go up through here, and we can check these. And then there's those houses there. And then... We've got one house here and here, and then there's a few more up that way. So that's that's the kind of route that we'll take. Let's see if we can find one more. The Is our tractor stopped? He has. Why has he stopped? Has he reached his destination? I think he's reached his destination. If he hasn't, he got stopped by a vehicle, and then he got confused. So, I mean, we're really close to the edge here, so if we drive this one along... We are running low on fuel as well, so it'd probably be a good idea if we stop at the fuel station and go and grab a little bit of go-go juice. Which is the other side of the dealership. Now, selling this plow back, I think I've then got enough money to buy the next plow. If I don't have enough money to buy the bigger plow that I was looking at, I should definitely have enough money to buy the slightly smaller one. So let's lower you down here. And leave you right there. Like that. You always get more money. Those of you who don't know, if you bring the vehicle back and place it in this area here so that you're delivering it to the dealership, you get more money than if you sell it direct just in through the screen. Because you can just go in through the dealership screen and sell it in there. But we don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to sell that one. Actually, repair for one euro. See, 4943. Repair for one euro. Yes, 4945. We make a profit. Worth doing the work. Okay, that one is now sold. So I've got 18,485. And I now need to go back into my plows. That one is 16,000. That one is 14. This one here is two and a half meters wide. It requires 160 horses to pull it up and down the hill. Uh, there's a mod there. That one's 21,000. A little bit more expensive. It does go up to three. Oh, that's because you can get an extension on it. That one's 22. It's 36. That one's 15. That's 1.6 meters wide. And that was 2.5. It's going to be a lot faster doing it with that one. That's pushing the limits of what we can do. A five furrow reversible plow right there. That is going to be pushing our tractor a bit. This one over here. The smaller plow. Kind of tempted to get that one actually. I know it's a smaller plow, which means that it will take longer, but it sort of. It feels like it would fit a little bit better than the other one. What's the price difference? 16. 
It's 1,000. It's, it's literally 1,000 difference, but I still feel that that one might fit better. The horsepower requirement is a lot lower. We could, in theory, put this one on the small tractor. And then we can use the other tractor for loading logs and stuff as well. Like we 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 then got additional options. Let's do it. We'll buy that one. Yes, fifteen thousand. And can I get that log trailer? I don't have the. Oh, do I? How much is how much is that log trailer? That log trailer that we wanted to get. I know I said that I wouldn't do much heavy duty. 3,800. There isn't any cheaper options on that. But we don't have 3,800, so that's not even an option right now. Uh, let's get this plow. Get it up to... It seems very washed out kind of yellow right there. On that one. I'm... Just wondering. I was going to say, I was, I was just thinking, if there's one of these plows in here at half price, I'm going to be really annoyed. <laughs> But there isn't. We do need to check on that a bit more frequently, though. We, we do need to make sure that we check that more often. Okay, so this one doesn't have a fold option. It doesn't um, have any option to make it any smaller. I suspect that means it's going to be a bit difficult to drive it out of here. With the hired help. I wanted to use the hired help to do the driving. I'm going to try it anyway. Let's see if the hired help is able to do this. Putting a lot of faith in this hired help. And I'm just going to bring it to here so it'll come up and come off the road and just go to that bit. Uh, so I want to go to set destination and then we will drive it up the hill ourselves afterwards. Target is unreachable. Yeah, I thought it might be. Set destination... Right, it doesn't like that at all. I don't know if it's because of the road I'm on here, whether it doesn't like that road. Which means that we need to get this one up to the field up top. And start doing the work ourselves. I wonder if maybe if I just bring it in around here, like this. Across these round... I want, like the, I'm, I'm thinking maybe the roundabouts are the bits that confuse it. It doesn't like it. So let me go to that point right there and then see if it's still going to say that the destination is unreachable. If I do that halfway up the hill, that's completely unreachable. But it can get to that point, apparently. So, uh, I'm just going to let that one carry on and I'm not going to watch it because I suspect that it's going to go horribly wrong. AI worker, see is blocked by an object, but he's still moving. I can still see kilometers per hour on there, so that's, that's all good. We'll just... Unless he stops... If he stops moving, then we will assume that it's gone horribly wrong. If it's still moving, we'll ignore any messages about being blocked and we'll just assume that he's hit another car. And, you know, if, if we... Whatever we, if what we don't know can't hurt us, we just have to go with the assumption what we don't know can't hurt us, and we'll, we'll sort of work it like that. Because I want to find another rare truffle. Midday right now. Let's not go too fast. Uh, I wonder if there's anything around the sawmill. Just look along the front of the sawmill. I'm not, I'm not going to bother sort of running around the back. Don't see anything there? Okay, I don't see anything there. It's swing sets that we're after. Swing sets. We, we've got to go looking for swings. Now, what have we got? I did see one from across the river somewhere, didn't I? Well, that's, that's a slide. I don't know. If, I don't know. The, the slides and stuff weren't mentioned. Just swing sets. All right, I don't see anything on those swing sets there. So, we're going to turn around here. Like this. These people seem rather unconcerned by the fact that they're getting rained on. Not one of them has got an umbrella or a raincoat. That would be really cool if people actually altered their behaviours according to the weather in the game. I think that would be an awesome little detail. It'd, it'd only be like a really small detail, wouldn't it? But I think it would be really cool. There is one behaviour change that does happen in the game, and that is on Halloween. Um people do walk around like zombies so like you do get a zombie invasion in the game but that's it okay 
just wondering if there's like anything else around here. There's a swing set over there. Is that oh I thought that was a rare truffle for a minute. I thought I, I really did. But it's that. It's not a rare truffle. Okay. Let's have a walk around here. Um these buildings seem like they might be ripe for hiding a truffle. Is there any in the bin? I reckon at bins is gonna be a place that we're gonna find one. Okay, there's nothing here. I didn't go around the back of this building. I don't think there's going to be anything here. I don't see anything. What about over this way? Nope. Nope. Alright, there's nothing here. Let's go and keep checking these swing sets. Uh, the tractor is still driving. Where is that tractor driving? Because he's... Are you kidding me? He's gone, they, so he went over to here, and instead of going up that hill, he's gone back that way and gone all the way around this way. Let me go and find this track for a minute and just have a little chat. What are you doing? Seriously, what is wrong with you? Right, the Mahindra can stay where it is. Actually, let me just go to the Mahindra and turn it off for a second. And then I can back up here and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna start from this side over here and just plow one extra little line along it I think and that's gonna help us we've got a load of produce at the greenhouses so that's gonna get us more money but like I said I don't think we actually need to worry about getting the stump grinder just yet we can focus on doing all the other bits we can cut down the trees we can load them up and stuff like that and also I believe that this plow will be able to be used by our John Deere tractor as well. So when we come to load up the logs, we're gonna want the front loader and this tractor. And so we'll be able to do it with the other one. We'll be able to put the other tractor onto the plow and do that. And then this tractor can be doing loading of the logs and then transport them as well. I mean, if it doesn't work, then we can just sort of quickly figure something else out. And it won't take very long, I don't think. Uh, let me do that. I'm just doing an extra line on here just to make absolutely certain that this plow doesn't go crossing over the boundaries. Because the last thing we want is additional lines of stuff plowed up anywhere. Um, let's plow... That bit right there, and then I'm gonna come back over here like this, and I'm going to put. I'm just gonna turn this one over, and then I'll start the hired help working from here. And I'm hoping that the hired help will actually go from that point and then plow all the way to the end, because I've got that little tiny strip that was left by the other plow. So yes, this has ended up costing more money than I had originally hoped, but I still think that we're going to do all right with it. So that one will lift there. He needs to turn around now. He should be able to turn around without any trouble. And then we can go back to hunting for more rare truffles. Right, this plow does actually seem like it's going to do a better job. It's looking nice and shiny. I wish it wouldn't do that and leave so much of a big gap, but there isn't really a lot that we can do about that. Um, generally speaking, though, this is good. We're ploughing up our own field. This is our very own land, our own field. We've not done any ploughing on our own land before. We're now actually doing that, and we are going to be able to start preparing and planting our fields. And something quite remarkable up here in this meadow is that so far there doesn't appear to be any stones and I definitely have stones turned on. When we were ploughing down there, we went through the trees there, there were stones being turned up. So there are stones, like, it's not like the map doesn't have stones, it's just it doesn't seem to be turning any stones up here. So maybe you're able to set the map so that different areas have got different amounts of stone that are produced and that this particular part of the map isn't overly stony ground. 
which is actually really cool. I really like that idea. Now, are you going to turn around and do this properly? You're not going to go traveling off across the fields anywhere. I just want to make sure that he does turn around properly here. Doesn't do anything stupid. And then we're going to let it carry on with what it's doing. We're going to ignore it. You're not going to go doing anything stupid now, are you? Like leaving huge great big gaps. I know you're working sideways on a hill, which the game struggles with anyway. But no, that does actually seem to be working all right. All the way on down through here. Something I really like, if you look at the mini-map right there, you can see the detail of the new field turning up on the mini-map. And that, like, that, that dynamic mini-map changing is a feature of this game now that I really, really like. I think that is absolutely fantastic. Right, anyway, you are working just fine. So we're going to let you carry on there, and I am going to go herring off up across the mountains once more in search of these elusive truffles. They can grow anywhere, these truffles. They can grow absolutely anywhere. They can even grow. Do you remember the good old days when we were working the land in there? It's a long time ago, that was. Um, they can even grow in people's gardens right on their swing sets. And that's what we're looking for. Don't see any here. Don't see any here. I really do feel that I should be exploring these houses in a little bit more detail. But it's the swing sets that we're after right now. I've seen, uh, I checked those swing sets. I didn't see anything. So we'll go on. See, there's more houses up there further up the mountain. And there's a set of houses just here. So I was going to go straight across at this roundabout first. Well, actually, I'm going to check the houses right next to roundabout. Then we will go straight across. And we will head on up that way. So we want to go this way round the roundabout. And we want to turn off uh, this way. And now we want to just check any swing sets. I don't know if there's swing sets in behind the houses or not makes me think that maybe I should pull up here and stop for a minute and we will run through the gardens <gasps> there we have another one <laughs> another rare truffle right that's two so there's five more rare truffles to find I don't know that we would get a third one on the swing sets if we've only got five left to find. I don't know. I'm going to leave it for now. We got, we got the money that we need. We have got the money that we need. The Mahindra can stay there. That one can stay where he is. This tractor is doing... This, this new plow is fantastic. This new plow is fantastic. It's doing a decent job. It's getting everything that we need it to get. When it turns, it's it's just doing the, the correct width on the field. So there's no problems here with this one. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.